Thank you. Hi, thank you for introducing. Hello, everyone. My name is Toshiki Ando from University of Tsukuba, Japan. Today, I will introduce our new interaction system, CanalSense. It is a face-related movement recognition system based on sensing air pressure in ear canal. First, I will begin with the background of our research. In our life, the mobile devices are essential, but some situations we cannot use devices. For example, carrying bags in both hands, and the hands are dirty, injured, or occupied. In these situations, we have to different way from use hands for controlling the devices. One of the solutions for using the devices is using hands-free interaction. To realize hands-free interaction, a lot of methods are, have been proposed. There are various ways to realize hands-free interaction. For example, use a voice, gaze, breath, head tilting, foot, tooth, and tongue. In contrast to these researches, we realize hands-free interaction with the jaw, face, and head movements using earphones. Earphones are used to listen to sounds anytime and anywhere, and the most popular wearable devices worn on the head. It is not strange using earphones in the illustrated situations. We show the, our hands-free interaction system, CanalSense. This is application demo movie of our system, CanalSense. In this demonstration, she conducts the Lesh book in a tablet with tilting her head. Our system can be used in a situation which cannot use the both hands, such as cooking. And this is another example. The user is having bugs in both hands and control smartphone's music player. In this application, the user needs to take out the smartphone from the pocket. And this is system overview of kernel sense. Our system consists of earphone type parameter and the extraction and classification software. Earphone type parameter is this. It looks like user earphone. Canal sense can recognize these 11 face related movements open mouth, closed mouth, uh, slide your left, slide your right, and uh, keep mouth closed, face left, face right, face up, face down, tilt head left, and tilt head right. Also, Canal sense can recognize four levels of open mouth keep mouth closed, keep open mouth right. Open mouth and uh, open mouth wide. Before to talk about our system, I will talk about why our system can recognize the face-related movements. A previous work said that movement of mandibular condyle changes the shape of ear canals. Figures show the structure of mandible. Comparing figure A and figure B. The positional relationship between the mandibular condyle and the ear canal are changed. According to this, the shape of ear canals are changed. Please insert your finger into your canal and open close the mouth. Then you can know that the shape of the ear canals is changing. When the ear canals are obstructed, Jaw movement make air pressure changes in the ear canal. So using this, we can recognize the face-related movements. I will talk about the hardware. 
This is a structure of outer ear. And we measure the air pressure inside the ear canal. We implemented earphone type parameters. It is this. And we embed a tiny parameter in a commercially available canal type earphone. The parameter is Bosch BMP280, and the commercial canal type earphone is Panasonic RPHAE260. User can wear earphone type parameter in the same manner as wearing canal type earphones. Air pressure in the ear canals show characteristic changes depending on face related movements. Our system classifies the characteristic changes and recognizes face related movements. Our software extra extract and classify the characteristic changes. This is an example of a web phone when user performs open mouse. In this example, both parameter values, that is right and left, make peaks. Another example is slide your left. Slide your left is different from open mouse. The right parameter values are changed, but left parameter values change a little. In this way, face related movements show characteristic changes by movements. We have some steps to extract the characteristic waveforms from the streams of parameter values. First, observe the parameter values and try to find a peak. In this example, it looks right parameter values peak is larger than left parameter values peak. But we define the peak is the first peak of the stream in current, current design. And save the waveforms from around the peak. The window size of the waveforms is one second. That is 32 parameter values per year. From the saved waveforms, ex we exact future vectors. The future vectors is, for example, difference between the values and its previous one, and the standard deviation, the maximum to minimum. In our development, random forest was used for classifying the face related movements. This is a recognition demo movie. The recognition results are shown in bottom right. You can know some movements can recognize with our system. We had an experiment for evaluating our system. The purpose of our experiment is measuring the accuracy of movement recognition. We conducted two tasks. The task A is we evaluated 11 movement recognition accuracy. And task B, we evaluated four levels of open mass recognition accuracy. And we recruit 12 participants. There are eight males and four females. The experimental environments, doors and windows were closed, and all participants use the same earpiece. The earpiece is a commercial one and this one. The experiment in experiment A, we ask the participants to perform these 11 movements. And task B, we ask the participants to perform these four levels of open mass. 
about experimental procedure. In our experiment, each participant performs every movement of task A and B for 12 rounds. Participants take a break after every round and refit the earphone type parameter in the break. Refit it is remove and reattach the earphone type parameter. <coughs> this is experiment result. In the task A, we perform a user classifier which uses users' own data and use even at cross validation to measure in the accuracy. In addition, using the both parameters data, that is L plus R, we measure the accuracy of using single parameters data, that is L O R. The mean of a user classifier accuracy is using only left parameters data was 70.8%. And use only right parameters data, 68.0%. And use both parameters data was 87.6%. And there are significant differences between using single parameter and both parameters data. From the results, Pizza's write accuracy was fairly low. In the post hoc questionnaire, Pizza write his ear cans are so small that the earphones could not fit his ears and it make keeping the ear tightness hard. This is a possibility of the reason why Pizza's write was fairly low. Here is the result of task B. The mean of per user classifier classes, only left parameters data was 79.7%, and using only right parameters data was 81.4%, and the use both parameters data was 87.5%. From this results, there is a possibility of recognizing open mouth levels in a single parameter. There, there is two reasons. One, single parameters accuracy was higher than both parameters accuracy in some participants. P2, P4, P5, P7, and P12. And second reason, there was no significant differences between using a single parameters and using both parameters. So it is better to use a single parameter for some users. I want to talk about discussion and limitations. The most limitation is air tightness. It is clear that users who dislike to obstruct the ears cannot use our system. And second, the users whose canals are too small or too large have to find earpiece which fits the user's ear canal. And our experiment was conducted only in control lab environment. So we have to evaluate the influence on canal sense by various factors. The example, physical condition factors, it is a stuffy nose or having a cold. And users posture movement action factors, such as walking, standing, biking, riding, in our small experiment, walking generates waveforms similar to face up and face down. And environmental factors, and taking an elevator or boarding an airplane. The last is sound factors. 
it is influenced by the sound of earphone. In our small experiments, we found the sound factor, we found the sound did not influence the accuracy. But we have to verify the influences. I will talk about the most closely to related works. Pedori et al. developed an outer ear interface with proximity sensors and recognized heart rate, uh, tongue activities, jaw motion, and eye blinking. Uh, Mathis et al. recognized facial expressions by using electric, electric field changes around the ears and use it for inputs. In contrast, our system uses barometer. I will talk about our future work and conclusion. Our future work, we, evaluate, we will evaluate a compound face-related movement, such as the slide your right plus tilt head left. Slide your right and tilt head left can perform in same time. So we plan to verify the waveforms of compound movements. And our experiment was conducted in a controllable environment, so it is necessary to verify the various factors. In conclusion, we print a face-related movement recognition system, canal sense. Canal sense based on our finding that face-related movement changes the air pressure in the ear canals and kind of sense can recognize 11 face related movements in 87.6% and four open mouth levels in 87.5%. Thank you for your attention. You guys are all very quiet today. Um, I've got a question regarding the social acceptability social of, acceptability. so if you're in public and you have to do this ah. a lot, how do you think that's gonna be perceived? Are all the gestures um, reasonable to use, uh, in your opinion? Uh, to perform the big gesture, uh, open mouth wide, uh, the left side is in, it is difficult in the public, but uh, the small gestures, uh, small open mass right, and the uh, can home in public, uh, I think so. Okay. Thank you. Well, th let's take our speaker.